A new film which charts the history of the atomic bomb has been dubbed the horror film to end all horrors. Countdown to Zero is part of an international campaign to eliminate nuclear weapons and it had its first screening in London last night. Jane Deep Weatherspoon has the details. It might look like a Hollywood disaster movie, but it's actually a documentary charting the history of the atomic bomb. Countdown to Zero is the latest political film with a conscience and has been dubbed the horror film to end all horrors. Everyone involved thought there was an actual attack underway. Filmmaker Lawrence Bender set out to frighten audiences with the film and educate them about the threat posed by nuclear weapons. The truth is scary. It's scary, but it's also powerful. And I really believe that this has a, is going to really empower people to uh, take action. I think it's really raise awareness and, and help build the Global Zero movement, which is to eliminate nuclear weapons. He's the same producer who made An Inconvenient Truth, the film about Al Gore's global warming awareness campaign. If this were to go, sea level worldwide would go up 20 feet. The message is honourable, but can a movie save the world? I don't know about that, but An Inconvenient Truth went a far way to bring that issue to light. I think it moved the mark, maybe not as far as it could have, but certainly farther than we expected to. And I really do believe that this movie uh, will play a big role. The film was screened at BAFTA last Suddenly night as the worlds of showbiz and politics came together, hoping that their combined power can make a difference. Those filmmakers who choose to concentrate on subjects that are serious, that are not going to be as commercially um, you know, profitable perhaps, but have the opportunity to in fact change people's minds. What we want to do is to really raise people's awareness of the continued risk and the very real danger if we don't move away from nuclear weapons. The impact is yet to be felt, but the release of the film couldn't be more timely, ahead of the demonstrations planned for this weekend as part of Nuclear Abolition Day. Jane Witherspoon, Sky News.